Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are testing out another weird product that is expensive for what it is. We're playing with a heated lash curler and it kind of looks like a screwdriver or some kind of electronic piece that would not be for curling your lashes. Like this does not look like a lash curler because we all know this contraption right here, very important for lifting your lashes, making your eyes look wide and bright and awake. And it's one of the best things that you can do to enhance the way you look, you know, for a natural look, like even if you're dashing out the door, using a lash curler is so key. I have the kind of lashes that just kind of want to go and I don't have that many of them. I am a slave to um, a good mascara, of course, but also false lashes because I don't really like my natural lashes. They just don't do a lot for me. So I am curious to see how this guy works. 24 bucks right here. This probably could have been an OMG, but you know what? I was really excited to play with this, so I was like, Let's just play with it anyway. I'm kind of bending, you know, my rules with WTF being really, really super high end. So 24 bucks, not bad. Okay, you get it in this case right here. And the only reason I took it out was you do have to charge it and I needed for it to work on camera, but I have not tried this. It's a USB charger. So you're just gonna plug it into anything that, you know, we all know what this is. Um, your computer, any charger that you have plugged into the wall, that will charge this. It's never gonna need batteries. And it's pretty simple. You are going to hit the on button. As I say, it's simple. I'm like, work. Come on, do it. Okay, and the red light will go on and it will heat up, or it should. Heat. Okay, you have to hold it for three seconds to charge it on. So don't do what I was just doing, like just clicking it like, hey, come on, turn on. So blue light means it's charging when it's plugged in. Green light means that charging is complete. And then this red light will signify to you that it is heating up. I'm kind of afraid to use this, you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna like burn my eye. I've never used anything like this. This is so weird. The other cool thing, as I'm reading about this online, it says that this can be used on natural or false lashes or extensions. This would actually be really incredible for lash extensions. I went down that road once and I actually hated it because I'm a side sleeper and I would wake up and I would have lashes going up over here and over here and I just looked so strange. So something like this I think would be really, really good for you guys out there that play around with lash extensions and I'm just excited to have something that maybe will make the curl of my lashes hold on a little bit better. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna like this. Okay, the other thing that I got from them, this I believe was a little bit up there in price for what it is. They do have some makeup items and this is from Lash Star as well. This is a eyeshadow quad, I'm wearing it today. It's pretty, it's nice. I would recommend using any of the shimmers with either a glitter glue or a setting spray. Very, very crumbly, but very shiny. Um, the only thing that I thought was kinda eh is this is 39 bucks, which is so high priced for just what it is, it doesn't scream to me the same kind of high-end quality that I would expect from $39 for an eyeshadow quad, um, but it's not bad. So I did try out a makeup piece from them. They do have some highlighters and other things that maybe I will explore. I also did pick up a pair of false lashes that I think maybe we'll try today as well. I wanna try curling my natural lashes, curling the lashes with the mascara on them, and then maybe playing around with curling them with a pair of the Lash Star lashes on top. Okay guys, we're going in. I'm kind of hesitating because feeling this, it is, it's not burning hot, but it's definitely hot. So I'm gonna go in with this eye first. And it does say to have a mirror and look down, which is what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go at the base. Woo, that is hot. It's not burning, but it is definitely hot. And I'm just gonna sweep up. I saw on Instagram that they're kind of blinking into it a little bit, so I'm gonna Try to mimic that. Stays heated for 20 minutes, so you have a long time. I don't know, without mascara, is there a difference? Okay, I'm gonna put mascara on the curled side and on the non-curled side, because I can't really see if there is a difference. So we're just gonna go in with a light coat. There's a little bit of a difference. 
What the hell? Actually, I really like it for on top of the mascara. That's pretty cool. I feel like I'm able to like move my lashes in a direction that I want. Okay, let's put on some more mascara. This is not horrible. I do want to try out the Lash Star lashes. So we're going to play with those and see if we can make my lashes meet up with the false lashes with the heated tool. So this is the third test. I'm using the Visionary Lashes Style 005. Got these at Bloomingdale's. Are those gonna be pretty? Sometimes I put on false lashes and I'm like, and that was a fail, because these look like crazy time. Okay, let's see here. Shoot, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna cut off the inner corner or outer? I don't know. Inner. I'm regretting having you be my cameraman right now. <laughs> James is here because I don't have an autofocus on my cameras. So whenever I like do these zoom in moments, I have to have someone like make sure that I'm not like, whoa, but he is very opinionated. Wait, did you say inner or outer? I said cut off the inner. Inner, really? Yeah. You like the outer being all fluffy like yeah. that? Actually, those look like they're gonna be nice. Okay, I'm gonna pop these on and then I'll be right back. And we're back and I have the lashes on and wrong box. Ah, oh, I just, I really like these. Again, these are the visionary lashes. This is one of the more natural styles. Of course, I don't like to go too crazy like mentioned because I don't have a lot of space between my lash line and my brow. And when they get too big or too thick, I feel like it just drowns my eyes out. So, you know, different lashes are gonna look different on different eye shapes. I think that makes sense. Um, but these ones are great for me and they went on pretty easily. These lashes are on bloomingdales.com and in select stores. They are $25 and let's see what they are made out of. I don't think that's right. Um, it says that they are reusable up to 2,030 times with appropriate care. I would not recommend that. I think that's a typo. Um, these are made out of silk, so they are a uh, synthetic mimicking the mink kind of a look on the lash, and I'm into it. I really like it. I think that these will hold up nicely. The band is made really well. They went on nicely, they look great, and you'll probably see me wearing these in upcoming videos. Let's get back to this little contraption because this is something that I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm not gonna replace my normal lash curler with, but for those of you out there that have lash extensions, I think this is going to be such a lifesaver because your lashes can go here, there, everywhere, and this will literally iron them out, kind of like a flat iron, a curling iron, and this could be really, really helpful. Also, I did like it on top of the mascara more than underneath. It almost felt like I was not burning my eye, but it just felt like too much work. So I think this is more of a detailed item. If you are crazy about things looking totally perfect and you're into that detailed look, you're a perfectionist, this is a tool that does work. The last thing I wanna do with this is see if I can make my natural lashes meet into these silk lashes just a little bit better. Um, I'm not wearing like any eyeliner, nothing. I wanted to keep the lid really simple so you guys could see everything going on. And for not having liner or anything concealing my lashes, the false lashes, I think this is looking really, really good. What a weird product, right? Okay, so we're gonna go in and just try to get the base lifted a little bit more. Yeah, that actually did meet them up quite nicely. So this is better than taking your full uh, lash curler because it's kind of impossible to like get in there without ripping the edges off and lifting those inner corners, which is annoying to get you know in place from the get-go. So this is kind of cool. Yeah, I like this item. I, this is totally Tati approved. I enjoy it. But if you are not using false lashes, if you are not overly fussy about your lashes, this is more of a detailed tool add-on. I think you still need one of these in your collection. So there you have it. If you think it's worth spending that 24, 25 bucks on it, go for it. It does work. And I'm excited about these false lashes. Those are also totally Tati approved. I'm happy I tested out this new line and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow, 
come back because I'm gonna be playing with a value set of lip products and there are so many good ones in the set. Um, we're gonna swatch, try on, play, and do all of that stuff in Tomorrow's Hot or Not. So I hope to see you then and I hope you guys are having a good one. I love you so much. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.